can artificial intelligence design my nails? That's a real head scratcher. <laughs> so we know that AI robots can deliver our food, clean our floors with our little eye robots, but can it do our more service oriented personal jobs like a massage therapist, even be our waitress? Like, will it bring us our butter mints? I'm sure it will. Will it make my job better? Will it eliminate it? So I decided to use ChatGPT and ChatGPT developed by OpenAI. It's a large language model. It's amazing. There's a lot of videos on how to use it in your day-to-day -day lives that are not being an L-Tech, but I wanted to see if it could be applied in this field. So I asked for it just as basic. This can get real deep, guys. We can get a lot of detail. So tell me down below if you like this. Um, I asked for it to design me five nails, five different designs on each finger, and break down which design on each finger, right? And for a YouTube video, of course. So as you can see, it told me what to do on each finger with a little detail. So I wanted to see if it will, you know, translate. Did it design my nails? Is it a good design? So I'm um, starting off, and this is real quick prep. I cleaned my nails, prepped them. I used the peel-off base coat from Daily Charm, the peel-off base gel. And I'm using the Daily Charm extension, gel extension system. It's like a gel X type dupe. And you can use discount code Tabitha10, T-A-B-Y-T-H-A, one zero, the number 10, for your discount. It's unlimited. You can use the code today, tomorrow, the next day. So I'm using the system. This is not my best work. I'll, I'll say it once so you don't roll your eyes. This isn't my best nail technician work, but I wanted to see how these designs look. So I'm using my Painted Desert Light that one of my one-on-one -on -one students gave to me in the past, shout out to you. And so, like I said, we're not here for this. So some of these are not applied the best. Some of these are not fitted the best, um, but we're getting them on. When you do these type of um, nail extensions, I definitely recommend if you want them to look more realistic, to um, taper in around the cuticle area, of course. So I went and buffed them, they're prepped. So we're starting with our thumb and they told me to do ombre pink and white with crystals. So I started with the Daily Charm Ballerina color and I found this actually to be kind of too sheer. Now this is a wonderful color, but these tips are clear. Clear and I wanted it to look more like a nail bed color. So I'm using I painted that, I'm just here, I'm, I'm winging it. I just wanna see how it'll translate. So I'm using the Light Elegance Jimmy Gel and I'm applying a thin layer of that, just trying to build up the opacity. So I cured that in the light. These are all gels, I'm going in the light. Cured that in the light and then I'm applying another coat of that ballerina color, which is a sheer color. So after that, I'm using the Air Brush Air System from Opre, which of course, they make a Gel X. I'm quickly doing my little pink and white ombre. Like I said, this is more so to see if AI is going to give us a beautiful and cohesive design. So we're doing our pink and white ombre. Let me know down below if you want more information on, um, on airbrush. I'm not a professional, I'm getting into it, but I feel like I can give you maybe a couple tips and tricks or maybe just wanna see more designs. So for this design, it told me ombre pink and white, it did. And then it told me with some clear crystals around the cuticle area or near, near the cuticle area. So that's what we went ahead and did. And I'm just, I'm just using my Daily Charm Crystal Picker Upper. I don't know what it's appropriately <laughs> called, um, but it told me to add in for added sparkle. So I took a little, you know, gave a little extra detail. So let's go to the pointer and it said negative space with flowers. Let me tell you what this told me. Paint the nails white. Use a small brush to create a floral design using black nail polish. Leave some negative space to showcase the white background. Now, this was actually, this is what makes this really fun. I, I really enjoyed doing this. Like I said, this is kind of like a rough draft, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, okay, so let's leave some negative space. I don't know how it shows off the white, but we're doing it. So I just left a little, you know angle in there and so i'm using the daily charm this is uh, filled with a lot of daily charm i love daily charm i always say it link down below if you want to shop you do not have to be licensed if you're a hobbyist a nail enthusiast even a professional you can shop with them so i'm using the brush i have many and plenty art brushes so i believe this is the oval one the pointed oval brush and i'm doing this to create some little petals 
and I'm gonna cure this. Then I'm gonna use Milk Bath from Daily Charm, which is a sheer white color. I've seen this technique and I've never tried it. So I'm like, I'm gonna try this today. <laughs> and I'm gonna say we can make leaps and bounds more improvement with this. I said we, I mean me and myself <laughs> but what i'm doing i'm just doing those one strokes just as simple as that and i'm adding that sheer white and i'm curing i'm applying the black paint curing adding the sheer white curing going in with the next layer of our black paint curing in our light and when i say cure like i said we're in the led light um or the uv lamp absolutely check your products to make sure what the manufacturer recommends and everything like that of course and again i'm using just some products i have around some light elegance products some madam glam products for these it's just it's black and white you know what i mean so i'm actually using here the daily charm i mean not the the light elegance new white gel polish the classic white so we just added some little insides to the flower <laughs> so this one was fairly simple and I actually, it said paint the nails a solid gold color. And this does kind of look shimmery because it then asked me to um, add some glitter on the tip of the nail. So I'm going with the Light Elegance Dreaming of Dubai. It's a holographic gold glitter polish. So I, you know, translated this into like a glitter ombre. And I do wish I have the uh, Madam Glam Perfect Gold, which more so is a cream gold, if you will. And I probably would have wanted to use that just to say more true to the design. So it looks like a solid gold color because it kind of looks like a shimmery fine gold glitter polish, but it translated. So the ring finger, we have a French tip with crystals. So it told me on the ring finger, paint the nails with a light blue color. And um, I'm just using a Vetro polish. Like I said, we're, we're trying to see if this design, you know, works. <laughs> so it said use a white nail polish to create the classic French tip design and add small clear crystals on the tip. Now, this is what's amazing to me is the amount of detail that it's telling me. Like I said, I went at this very simple I, I really did, I told it to design one set of five nails, all five nails a different design. Describe the colors in detail on each finger. You can't include crystals. So I can imagine where you can ask it, you know, make me a Valentine's Day set, but you know, use the colors black and red and give me, you know, three matching designs and one different design. Use most search nail, you know, Valentine's nail art or something like that. Like I said, I think this can get real deep, guys. Um, but let me know if you like this, if you wanna see me try anymore, or tell me down below like a prompt to give to it. And if you're unfamiliar um, with ChatGPT, Mid Journey, Dolly, and things like that, I am a nail tech, but I'm a half nerd. <laughs> Um, it, it can absolutely help you in your day-to-day -day life of not being a nail tech, of being a regular person. So definitely look into it, of course. Um, but back to the nail. So I applied my small crystals at the tip. I applied them with some nail glue real quick. My crystal picker upper, it's a crystal ninja one. And I use some nail glue. So this pinky nail, it says, this is a description on the little finger, use black and white nail polishes to create a leopard print pattern. Now guys, disclaimer, is this leopard, cheetah, I don't know which kind of print this is. I just kind of went for it. It, it feels like it. Um, it says, you can use a small brush to create the spots. Add some gold crystals on top of the spots for added sparkle. So that's what I'm doing. I am taking a small brush and again, I am really using those Daily Charm brushes. They have a set and they sell the brushes individually and I, I love them. If you're trying to get, you know, some essentials to create some nail art, and you want a variety of brushes to create a variety of effects, that's a wonderful, wonderful set. Individually, the brushes are awesome. I like the liners. There's one brush, I like it. I think it's the flat oval. I like to use it for gel application, so yeah. So again, I believe I'm using the Madame Glam Perfect Black Polish, nothing too crazy. I'm applying a matte polish because I thought it would look good matte and I cured this and the black didn't fully cure, it had a, little tacky layer of color and I use that for good so I'm just kind of manipulating that for it to look like some shadow I think it translates so I added some nail glue and this is not in a professional setting how I would apply crystals with matte nails at all these will fall off like tomorrow 
put a robot emoji down below and let me know did ai design my nails what do you think i think it actually did it gave me a nice quirky but also actually a cohesive design and if i literally didn't know what to do on myself or my client this could have sparked at least a starting point you know a jump off point so i don't think i have anything to worry at least for now as far as my actual job but i think this can be really helpful but i also think this can be fun so let me know down below what kind of prompts to put in here and what you would like to see if you want me to record some more videos like this and um yeah you guys try out chat gpt we're in the future guys